Oh, tis up my homie slicers. Cake here with another guide video for 3DS Homebrew. Today, I'm gonna show you how to install iron hacks on the newest 3DS firmware. This method allows you to access the eShop and download an old version of Ironfall that'll allow you to install Homebrew. Um, you'll need an internet connection the first time, and then after that, you won't need one again. And the really cool thing about this uh, Homebrew method is that it can never be patched by Nintendo. The only way that it could be messed up is if you accidentally update your version of Ironfall, which you won't do. The first thing you need to be able to do uh, is to access Homebrew. So that's the bad part. You have to be able to access Homebrew before you can install this version of Iron Hacks. Luckily for you guys, there's a new version of Browser Hacks out. So it even works on the newest firmware which is currently 10.3.0 and that lets you access homebrew on any version uh, this method on the browser could be patched at some point so it's best to go ahead and uh, download ironfall as soon as possible and get this installed so you can always run homebrew I'll give you a quick run through on how to access homebrew using browser hacks real quick if you have OT hacks or ninja hacks you can skip these browser hack steps and go straight into after the pre-steps so pre-step one first you need to download the uh, starter pack which I'm gonna post a link to on the screen you need to unzip it and drag all of the contents of that folder into the root of your 3ds SD card uh, personally I recommend deleting everything on the SD card first and then just dragging the whole thing in but it might work if you don't do that um, if you do end up having some problems later on as a troubleshooting you could uh, delete everything on the SD card and try again um, if you're using a new 3ds you'll have to do the wireless transfer there's a link in the description on how to edit the files on your on your new 3ds SD card pre-step two is you need to have a Nintendo network ID set up and be logged in you can check the login settings like so by going to the settings option as you can see here all right and once you're in the settings go to Nintendo network ID settings just to make sure we're logged in if you don't have an account and you're not logged in it, I think it'll prompt you to make an account if you're logged in on the top screen you'll see your login credentials it takes a long time all right so as you can see on the top I'm logged in already into my Nintendo Network ID okay and then we can just back out and the third pre step is to make sure you're connected to the internet and make sure your network ID is set up by logging in to the eShop I'm not gonna do that step here but just go to the real eShop make sure you access it and you're logged in with your network ID uh, and those are the three pre steps all right and one more thing that I recommend doing before you scan this QR code to run browser hacks, and I especially recommend this on the original 3DS or 2DS. I haven't had any problems on a new 3DS with this, but go into your internet browser real quick. And go to settings on old 3DS or 2DS, there'll be a wrench icon. And I recommend deleting your cookies. And if you're on old 3DS or 2DS, also deleting the history and then uh, uh, clicking the option that says reset save data uh, on an old 3DS or 2DS it's gonna say initialize save data and it it has a problem running browser hacks especially on the older versions if you don't do that beforehand okay now that you've done that and you did all the pre steps go ahead and open up the camera app and select the QR code option and then go ahead and scan the QR code above my head or in the link in the description and then click OK all right now if you did initialize your save data or delete it you're gonna have to go ahead and click OK select your search engine and then uh, start the browser up again if you're on a if you're on current firmware it's probably just gonna boot straight in to homebrew if you're on older firmware it might load a page that you can zoom in on and there's this little slider if you zoom in all the way by hitting the plus sign and then scroll to the top left of the page to boot the homebrew on the old version if you need to see how to do that I'll go ahead and put a link to a description on that now you should boot up into homebrew if for some reason your browser hangs at a yellow screen it's not hundred percent guaranteed so just uh, hold the power button on your 3ds until it turns off 
Turn it back on, try again. Should work. It's not 100%, but it, it usually works. If your browser just closes with an error, then there's a pretty good chance that means you didn't set up the starter kit correctly, in which case I'd recommend just wiping your SD card, delete all the files on it, and then download the starter kit, unzip it, and then start again from scratch, put all the files on there, and then, you know, initialize your save date on the browser. Just do it like you did from scratch from the very beginning. Make sure your internet connection's working, uh, you're connected to the Nintendo Network ID, and all of that. Okay, now once you're in homebrew, the next step is going to be a little bit different uh, depending on if you're on a new 3DS or a normal 3DS, 2DS. Um, on new 3DS, you can just go ahead and enter the eShop old version downloader. For whatever reason, on an original 3DS or 2DS, uh, you can't enter the eShop via browser hacks. So you'll need to install menu hacks first, and then you'll have to boot the homebrew launcher through menu hacks on a original 3DS and 2DS. Once you're in there through menu hacks, then you can run the steps from the eShop downloader. I'll go ahead and put a link in the description on how to install menu hacks. It's really easy. So if you're running an original 2DS or an original 3DS, go ahead and do that and then come back to the homebrew screen here once you've booted with menu hacks and then you can follow along from there. The uh, homebrew menu, the newest version, has two options. It has the eShop and the eShop old version downloader. Uh, for our purposes, we're going to want to go to the old version downloader. So just select that, and uh, it should boot up there. Uh, once we get into the eShop and search Ironfall, Ironfall one word and then those should be two options. There'll be the Ironfall trailer and then the game. All right, now go ahead and select the game and then select proceed to download at the bottom there. Okay. Okay, then select next and then free download. This is just like downloading any other thing off the eShop, only we're in old eShop version downloader. So download now is what I'm gonna select. You should probably select that too. And then it's basically just a waiting game for it to download. Depends how fast your internet connection is. And Okie Doodles partners. So once you have the Ironfall version downloaded, um, you have to have run the game at least once before you can install the iron hacks installer and as Shmia says no need to actually play it but it certainly doesn't hurt so let me go ahead and open mine so I can show you so go ahead and open Ironfall as you can see it says update notice an update is available for this title that's because I just downloaded the old version of it and don't click the update button and then just launch the software all right, and there's three save file options. I'm not even gonna start a game right now. I'm just gonna close it out. So next step, um, you're gonna need to get back into Homebrew one more time. So if you went ahead and installed Menu Hacks, you can use that, or you can just use Browser Hacks again, and then uh, boot into there. I'm gonna go ahead and use Browser Hacks again real quick to boot back in. And it's a success. Okay. Okay. Exploit OTT hacks. And then go to the Iron Hacks installer. And then select A on it or push it with your finger, your stylus. And then let's go ahead and follow through with these instructions. Initializing. You may press start any time to return to the menu. Welcome to the Sploit installer. Press A to continue the save game slot iron hacks will be installed to with the d-pad I'm just gonna leave it on slot one if you have a save file I guess you can choose something else the auto detect version of ironfall for your system will now be displayed okay please select your console's firmware only select new 3ds if you own a new 3ds or new 3ds XL and then so this gives you the option to select your firmware if you don't know your firmware version 
uh, you'll have to have went and looked at that before coming in here. Mine's the newest version, and this is already set up with the newest version here of firmware. So I'll just go ahead and run that and select A. It's going to download. This is why you need to be connected to the internet the first time you run this, because it has to connect. All right, and it says Iron Hacks was successfully installed. Awesome. Successfully wrote to file. Okay, then press start to go back to homebrew. And then press start and then A to exit out of the homebrew. And let's go take a look at our Ironfall game and see the glorious, beautiful Iron Hacks uh, boot method. So if Nintendo ever does patch browser hacks or menu hacks, if you have this installed, you'll still be able to get in. Like with Ninja Hacks and OOT Hacks. Launch the software, Ironfall. And intro screen. Let's see if it worked. It said it worked. And here's the first file named Iron Hacks. Select that bad boy and bam! Back into homebrew. So now we have a surefire way to get into the homebrew menu. And the good thing about this is you can edit your theme and stuff without screwing up menu hacks. You don't need to have menu hacks if you have this installed. And this is also free because you don't have to own a copy of uh, Cubic Ninja to run Ninja Hacks or Ocarina of Time and a Power Saves for OOT hacks. So that is the guide for the newest version of Iron Hacks on the most current firmware uh, down to probably some of the older firmware versions. Uh, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up thumbs up and give me a comment if you guys have any questions about anything and if you're not subscribed hit the subscribe button that would help me out and maybe you'll get some use out of some other videos that I make that would be a really cool I would love you forever if you do that okay uh, I think that's all I have to say for now um, that's all this video is about check out my other videos for how to install menu hacks a uh, little more in-depth guides on browser hacks and lots of other cool videos. I'll see you next time, guys. Uh, bye, Anara.